Hi, this is Kathy for Trans by Death, and this week we are talking about one of our favorite holiday memories. This past weekend, I took my wife and we drove over to Natchitoches, Louisiana, to see the Christmas lights that the city of Natchitoches has carefully placed along the Cane River, along their waterfront there. It was a beautiful display of lights, and I can highly recommend it to any of you. I think it's the best that it's been in a number of years. We petted the alligator. My daughter and her friend jumped on the porta pits and played on the bungee cords. We walked around and had some Cajun pastries, some funnel cakes, which were excellent. And then we had dinner at a nice Mexican restaurant and then came home. I thought, what a beautiful memory this was, and how much fun I had had with my family. When I think back over the many years that I've been going and looking at Christmas lights, one particular Christmas uh, lighting tr event comes to mind over all the rest. My wife and I uh, were not married. I was a starving college student at the university working on my degree, didn't have much money, and my wife had her first teaching job and thought she was a rich school teacher. Matter of fact, we both thought she was a rich school teacher. Well, I invited my wife to go up to Temple Square in Salt Lake City and see the Christmas lights. I picked her up and we went out and got in the car and I drove up to Salt Lake. It was a beautiful uh, e winter evening. It was snowing just so lightly with the big white fluff, puff, fluffy puffy uh, snowflakes that you oftentimes get at Christmas. And we walked around and enjoyed probably one of the most beautiful Christmas light sets I have seen on Temple Square. And we enjoyed every minute that we were there. Uh, we enjoyed the beauty of the Salt Lake Temple. We enjoyed the beauty of the Christmas lights around Temple Square. And we enjoyed listening to some organ music in the tabernacle. Well, after we had finished looking at the Christmas lights, we then decided that we would go and have dinner. And my wife said, I will buy. And so we chose to go to Brick Oven, which wasn't too far from where the two of us lived, and it was a very good pizza place. And so we went there. Well, we walked in and uh, got rid of pizza, and all of a sudden, I saw the most petrified look on my wife's face. And I said, what's wrong? And she said, I don't have a wallet. We have no money to buy pizza. And I said, that's all right. And she said, well, let's go look in the car. So we went out and looked in the car, and her wallet wasn't there. And so I took her in and bought her pizza. After we'd had pizza... I took her home and we had a nice walk in the snowflakes around the neighborhood looking at the Christmas lights in her neighborhood. And I left. The end of the story is that she found her wallet the next day in the snow right outside her car door. And we have laughed about that for years and that is both my and my wife's favorite Christmas memory. Well, I thank you for joining us on Trans by Death this week, and I hope to see you again next week. If you have a comment, please leave it in the box below. Bye.